My brother taught me how to cut a stencil. I was in year 10 in high school and I dropped all art subjects because I just hadn't really considered that the things you study lead to a career. So I needed kind of a trick up my sleeve because I wanted to be an architect or a graphic designer and you kind of need to do art subjects. There was a lot of stencils coming out of Everfresh Studio and Haha ha and Vexter and there was a lot of street art at that time was stencil based. Um, and yeah, it was just something that a lot of people knew how to do. So it was pretty easy to pick up the basics. All my stencils start with taking a photo and then digitize it in Photoshop. Once you're on Photoshopping them and breaking them down into layers, you print them off. And yeah, I always hand cut all my stencils, even the murals. So I only started doing murals about two years ago. The end product of the murals that I paint with the stencils don't look like anything else that have been painted on the street because usually with the studio work I get more into the finer detail and I try and make it, you know, I kind of condense all this detail into the canvas as opposed to the street works. I've actually simplified them a lot because they do get torn off and they do get damaged. It's, that's, that's kind of the thing that I love about the street work is that it exists on that scale. I've been thinking about painting a, like a portrait for the Archibald for like quite a few years and I think it's hard picking you know, you would have picked someone to do a portrait of. It just kind of came out of the blue. I listened to a lot of Living End um, when I was growing up. And it's funny because one of the first stencils I ever cut was of like the three boys from that band. And I just thought it'd be a good tie in. I kind of just, you know, like typed up an email, sent it off to um, like, you know, Chris's management and then they asked him about it and he was totally on board. The Archibald is a really interesting prize. It's probably one of the oldest portrait prizes in Australia. Um, and they've got this really interesting process. You actually have to have sittings. It's based off that whole idea of, you know, a traditional portrait being painted of someone. As far as, you know, what you're trying to capture, it's not just a still life or an object. You know, you've got to try and capture something of that person. I'm kind of trying to move away from stencils a little bit. I always want to make it a part of my work, but I think that you want to kind of change the medium. I kind of like knowing a lot about a lot of different things and just bringing as many of those things together as I can. And yeah, I think that's like, you know, kind of the ideal. It means that you can kind of branch out and keep it interesting.